This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right, so we are back at the leaking coil that you guys saw the other day. Here's our condenser. It is a micro channel, so we cannot pump it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut the valves off and trap the mo you know the refrigerant that we can in the condenser, and then recover the rest. And uh, then we'll head upstairs and start pulling the old evaporator out. All right, so we've got the old coil. I just unwelded it, unsoldered it, unbrazed it, whatever you want to call it. And fire, smoke, the smoke alarm's going off, so I'm going to easily. Is that the spring alarm doing that? No, sir, it's the torch. We had to cut the torch. Yeah, we had to unweld it. <laughs> So I push my Freon lines over. You gotta take this little panel off, slide it out, and then we'll take the new one and slide it in. Very simple. All right, so we got the new coil in. Piece of advice, we came back and here's the old piece that, that goes here, just like so, okay? Now, York used to send it up here with a zip tie. They used to send you a new one. I guess when Johnson Controls bought them, they decided to quit doing that. So, make sure that you take this off the old one when you're changing out a newer York or Luxair Coleman coil. Because it does not come with it. Also, don't forget to take your piston. It does not come with that either. This does not come with a Schrader, as you can hear. So our coil has pressure, which means it's not leaking. Okay, but there's no Schrader, but that's okay. I have one right here. There is going to be a Schrader here. Yeah, there's one there. And uh, we'll cut that off and get to work. Okay, so I want to retract that because I don't want to give you guys false or bad information. Turns out it does come with a new tailpiece is what I call it. It's just in the Ziploc that uh, we both, me and my cousin, overlooked. Now, it doesn't come with a piston, so you're going to want to make sure that you take your piston out if it's using a piston. But it does come with a new tailpiece right here in the Ziploc. And you just use the nut off because it, it, it comes capped off right there with, with this blank nut with a plastic piece. So you just use this flare nut and slide it over your new piece and you're good to go. So again, just uh, wanted to let everybody know that it does come with a new tail piece. I was ju I'm just so used to York uh, zip tying it to the coil. We both overlooked it in the bag. It also comes with a new gasket for the drain and it comes with a new gasket for here and here so i put this one on i'm waiting on this one to finish cooling off and then we'll put that gasket on so just check your zip lock on your warranty replacement coils all right so i've got the system in vacuum it'll start registering microns here in just a minute uh, I forgot to get a shot of the uh, of the new coil all put in place and brazed up, but it's done, obviously. But uh, we're in a vacuum, and uh, I I'm actually pretty impressed with these uh, York Luxair units. You have really good serviceability down there by the service valves. And really, I'm having to steal power because uh, there's not a power outlet anywhere close. And uh, a really, really roomy control cabinet. You know, you can see they have a hard start on it from the factory. It fits no problem. There's plenty of other room. 
Uh, and you know, now that they they offer non micro channels, which this one is a micro channel, but they they do offer these units a non micro channel because I have this same unit at my house and it's non micro channel. But after replacing the uh, coil in the air handler, I'm very impressed with the air handler. It's uh, really, really uh, well built and really thought out well by York uh, or Johnson Controls. So uh, I guess I shouldn't give them so much grief. It's uh, it's actually a pretty nice, easy unit to work on. So uh, we're in vacuum. We're down to negative 29.9. The way the S-Bands work is once you get below 10,000 microns, that's when it starts registering microns on the screen. So we got a pretty long line set though because this is a condo. So it runs, you know, up the wall. And uh, this is his upstairs system. And this Nordine is his downstairs. So uh, got a long line set. It'll start registering microns here in just a minute. And then we'll crank her up and get, uh, get this man back online. All right, so we got her charged up where we want her. We have a nice collection of units here. We have a Luxair, a Nordine, an ICP, a Train, a Goodman, an old ICP, another Goodman Brown Turd, a Ream, and a couple more ICPs back there. So, uh, we got a nice collection of units here at the apartment complex. But we're done with this one, and they're up and running, and they're happy. Thanks for watching, fellas. We'll see y'all on the next one.